Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to automatically update your Figma text layers from Google Docs using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is click on the little resources icon here at the top of your Figma file. And if you click on that and search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C, and under the plugins tab, if you click on the CopyDoc item, you can run the plugin by either clicking this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and clicking save plugin. And that's just gonna allow you to run the plugin from your plugins list later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas and just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on copy doc. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So the plugin has a bunch of different features, but for today, I'm just gonna be going through two of them. So I'm gonna be going through the export text layers feature and the import text layers feature. So the first thing we're gonna do is export our text layers out to a Google Doc. Uh, so we can do that by clicking on export text layers and then making sure that this little select box up here is just set to a docx format. So docx is a Word document format. So we're gonna click on docx and make sure that's selected. And then you can go through and select any frames you wanna export or not export. In this case, I've just got one frame, so I'm gonna keep that selected here. And then feel free to play around with any of these extra settings down here or do things like change the order if you wanna do that. Uh, feel free to change that or uh, group duplicate layers and things like that. Today I'm just gonna leave this pretty standard and now I'm gonna click on the export docx file. So I'm gonna click on export docx and that's just gonna export all of our Figma text to a docx file. So I'm gonna click on the download docx export and save that to my desktop. And if we open up that zip file and open up the folder, you'll see here that we've got a designs folder, which just contains a static design, just as a bit of a visual reference uh, of the docx file. And then what we wanna do is basically open up this file using Google Docs. So I've already got Google Docs open in my browser. So I'm gonna to go to my browser. Uh, I've just created a brand new blank Google Docs document. And then what you wanna do is go up to the file item up here and click on that and then click on the open option. So click on file open. And then you wanna make sure the upload tab is selected. So just click on that upload tab. And then what you can do is basically just drag and drop the docx file that we just exported from Figma into your Google Docs uh, window. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just uploading that document into Google Docs and that's gonna open it up for me to start editing. So you can see here that I've got all my content from Figma. Uh, this is all in uh, Google Docs. So we can now start to edit this content in Google Docs directly. So I'm gonna do some things uh, just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna change some of the names and roles uh, and subheadings. So I might call this uh, experience. I might call this uh, bio. And maybe we wanna change some of these companies. So I'm gonna change uh, some of these company names. I'm gonna change some of these tags. So maybe we wanna do uh, visual effects to visual design. Maybe we wanna do design to code. And maybe we wanna just change this to be art direction. And just a handful of different changes to show you what it looks like. Uh, we can also do things like change links. We can change uh, formatting. So for example, if we wanted to change some of the formatting in this lorem ipsum, we could do things like add some bold uh, formatting or italics formatting just to show you what that looks like. Uh, so that's a pretty good overview of a few different changes that we can make. And now just to show you what it looks like to re-import that content, what I'm gonna do is now download this file from Google Docs back into a Word document. So I'm gonna click on File, I'm gonna go down to Download, and then I'm gonna click on Microsoft Word or Docx in brackets. So if you click on the Microsoft Word option, that's just gonna download the file to your Downloads folder or wherever you've got your default downloads uh, saved to. So if you basically just open that up, so you can see here on my desktop, I've got the saved file from Google Docs that we just edited. So if I preview that, uh, you can see that the changes are in that file. So we've got the changed names, changed subheadings, uh, company name formatting. So that's definitely the updated file from Google Docs. So what we wanna now do is go back into Figma. So I'm just gonna minimize Google Docs. I'm gonna go back into Figma, close off this little window and jump into the import text layers feature. So if you click on the import text layers button, this is gonna allow us to re-import text updates to Figma. So I'm gonna click on import text layers. Then I'm basically just gonna drag and drop the file that we just saved from Google Docs, the updated file. Just drag and drop that back into Figma. So just in this little drop zone here. 
And what that's gonna do is load up some previews of the content that was changed. So you can see if we scroll through these, it's just showing some of the updates that are going to be made. These haven't been made in the file yet. It's just more of a review uh, phase. So you can see what's been updated in the file before you approve them or update them in Figma. So I'm pretty happy with these changes. If you didn't want to include any, you can basically just uncheck those and those won't get included. But for today, I'm just going to accept everything and click on the update Figma text layers button to update all of my Figma text layers in this preview. So I'm going to click that now. So I'm going to click update Figma text layers and that's just going to update all of the text layers that we changed in the Google Doc. So you can see it's updated 10 Figma text layers. And if we zoom in a bit, you'll see that uh, all the changes we made in the document have been applied. So the name's been changed, the subheadings have been changed, the uh, experience has been changed from Google to Airbnb in this case, and also the tags that we changed have been made. So you can see here, uh, it used to be called a concept art and design, and that's been changed to art direction and code. So those have been updated there. The formatting we added has been applied. So we've got the bold text and the italicized text here. And also it's changed uh, some of these links. So because the link wasn't properly formatted before, it's just gone ahead and uh, formatted that. You could basically just remove that uh, if you didn't want to include that. So uh, I've just left that as is, but you could uh, move that around. The other thing to note is if you're changing some of the text content, and the layers don't have auto layout, you might have to manually move some of those around if the content's been uh, exaggerated or extended. So sometimes you're gonna get longer content or shorter content, and that might require some layout changes. Again, if you don't have auto layout applied, so it's always good to apply auto layout as much as possible uh, beforehand. But if you don't, you may have to sort of tweak some of those positions around. Uh, but the main thing is you can update that content directly from Google Docs. So if you're working with someone who doesn't have Figma access, or if you're working with copywriters who prefer to do their copywriting in Microsoft Word or in Google Docs or using a docx file, uh, this is gonna be a nice way for them to edit the content without having to deal with Figma or deal with uh, any of the design kind of uh, challenges that might pop up when they're editing text. So um, yeah. We'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to keep this really short and simple uh, just to show you how you can use Google Docs as an option for updating content in Figma. Uh, using the copy doc export and import features is gonna be a really quick way of going about it. So feel free to give it a try with your team. And hopefully that helps if you've got some people on the team who are uh, into using Google Docs instead of Figma to make updates in the designs. So we'll leave it there. Thank you as always for watching. And we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.